Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, March the 19th. Pleasure to have you with us today. We, we've got a really special guy with us today, <laughs> Joe Dillard. Uh, Joe Dillard wrote a book. It's called The Blue Mound Chronicles. And we could talk about this book. But I tell you what, Joe came in here today. He is one of the happiest people. Look at that smiling face and that <laughs> contagious laugh. He's one of the happiest people I've ever met in my life. And you have gone through uh, an awful lot in the past year, yes, right? Yes. And you're still able to laugh yes. and smile about. It. Yes. Tell me what you what you said right before we uh, started recording here. <laughs> Last year, I had two colonoscopies, no, <laughs> three surgeries. I had six infusions of live tuberculosis vaccine, eight chemos, and an extracted tooth. <laughs> all of that. And you and you're still able to laugh and smile about all of this. Yes. Now you were you were diagnosed with uh, bladder cancer. Bladder cancer, yeah. And now you're gonna have to go through surgery and have what removed? The bladder. The bladder is gonna be removed. Yeah. Yeah. On Good Friday. On Good Friday. <laughs> yeah. And he's still laughing and smiling. <laughs> If I had gone through everything that you went through, Joe, I don't know if I would have, I don't know if I would have such a wonderful attitude that you have. Well, thank you. And I, I, I didn't mean to get all personal with you on this, but I think you are a, an inspiration, an inspiration to anybody who knows you, anybody who sees you, and looks at you and hears you laughing. Yeah. Laughter is the best medicine, it is. isn't it? It is, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, and you said you wanted to be on, on Radio Friends, and he said, he walked in and he said, I had to do an awful lot of work to get to come back here again. I said, well, what'd you do? He said, I had to write a book before I could come back. You're welcome to come back anytime you come, one, two. Thank you. In fact, you're going to have your surgery on, Good, on Good Friday. Friday. Yeah. Before you leave here, we're going to set a, a time for you to come back. <laughs> we talk about whatever you want to talk about. <laughs> okay. So you got something to look forward to. Well, thank you. Okay, yeah. Joe? Yeah. Yeah. But you're an inspiration to all of us. And I and I think the important thing we need to keep in mind is not to take life too seriously. That's, that's right. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. And you just turned 83. 83, yeah. So you're going to be around for another 20, 30 years, right? At least, right? yeah. And keep writing these books. This was, now, here's what he was supposed to talk about today, was the uh, the Blue Mound Chronicles. What's this book about? It's about Blue Mound, Missouri. And it's a little place 12 miles south of Chillicothe. You leave the courthouse, go down Highway 65 until it makes a left, go straight on Route Z, six more miles, and you're there. Yeah. And it's a, it's a crossroads. It was never incorporated or platted. It has two, two, well, it's only got one road sign now. They only used, one road sign? Yeah, it used to have two. They're only 300 feet apart. <laughs> okay. There's no stop, no stoplight, right? Oh, no, no stoplight. No, no stoplight, <laughs> right. Okay. But so, the school that I went through is still there. Oh. The country school, which okay. was built in 1911. Now, the, this is a book about stories of people who lived in Blue Mountain. Right. Missouri, right? Yeah. How I got started was I was doing my own memoirs. And I remembered we lived there from 1945 to 1954. And I okay. remembered all the good times we had there. And I started looking around, and I couldn't find anything written about it. And I said, well, that sucks. So I started collecting information. I've been working on it since 1999. Okay. Yeah. And I had a website. And then I here recently with the bladder cancer, I thought, you know, I'd get better turn that into a book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll get run over by a Mack truck and all that research is going to go out the window. <laughs> right. So you wrote the book. Yeah, I wrote the book. Uh, but there's a special section in here. It's called Wayne Power's Choice, Love Over Country. I started reading this, but I didn't get it finished before you came today. Yeah, okay. Tell us, this, this is probably the most powerful story in here it was absolutely amazing on the website i got an email from france back in 2011 and this gal said wayne powers was born in 1921 could you tell me more about him well i emailed her back and said what do you want to know and she said well i'm working with a guy who's writing a book on the deserters of world war ii and he was a deserter and of course you know me then i got really interested in what was going on uh, found uh, got, finally got a hold of his granddaughter in france and she said, my father wrote a book. And I said, I must have that book. And within four years, I finally got it. And, of course, opened it up. It's in French. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. So what would you do? Learn well, how, to, how to speak and read French? <laughs> our, one of the gals in our Sunday class was a French teacher, so she translated it for me. Okay. The, the short version is he's born in Blue Mound, moved to Chillicothe, got married, 
had a baby that died in, in birth, went into the Army, went to France, was driving truck supplies up to the line. And he stopped in this little town for coffee and met this gal. Somehow went over to her house and spent the night, come back the next day, and the truck was gone. So he went back to the house, lived with her 14 years, had five kids before they finally caught him. Before the <laughs> army and every, Everybody knew he was there, but they couldn't find him because she had a two-story house, and he had they had to take a stair so they could take a top off, and every time somebody could come to the front door, he'd go in under the stairs. <laughs> okay. So he lived there for 14 years. Yeah. Then what happened? Well, they finally caught him, and they court-martialed him, and... His wife and all five kids came to the court martial and pleaded. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I think they even he, wrote to the president. They did. Yeah, one of the daughters wrote to the president uh, Eisenhower. Right. And I got a copy of that letter. By the way, I contacted the Eisenhower, yeah. Eisenhower Library. So they, I think he only spent about maybe more than a month in in prison, and they mm-hmm. turned him loose. And he went to the French embassy, got a French citizenship, married her, had a couple more kids. And lived there the rest of his life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now that that's a pretty interesting story. It would make a great movie. I mean, a great movie. How long did it take you to research all of this? <laughs> I'm still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're going to write the screenplay for this movie, there right? There you go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Wayne Powers Choice: Love Over Country. That would be a good title for a movie, or a, maybe a television miniseries. Yeah, it would be, and just. Uh, I just hit the top of the iceberg. You know, the book he had written in basically his own words, he was a very compassionate man. And he said, you don't just, you can't believe how hard it was for me to stay under these stairs while the doctor was delivering our babies. I right. mean, that was how bad it was. Yeah. 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 But you know what, Joe, this is a very interesting book. I hope you sell many, many copies of it. Where can they get it? They get it straight, straight from me. Straight from you? Yep. Mm-hmm. How do they get it straight from you? you? Just make out a check to Joe G. Dullard. <laughs> okay. I sold that one, by the way, out this morning <laughs> in the you're waiting room. <laughs> you're a traveling salesman. That's it's right. not available on Amazon? No. Oh, no. Uh, and you got a website? No. No website? Uh, no. But it, okay. they just send a check made out to me to uh, 3535. West, okay. West Arbor Way. Okay. Here and you can, get, you can get Joe's book. That's you right. You can get Joe's book. Okay. Joe, thank you so much for coming by. <laughs> you really are an unusual guy. I'm, I'm so glad that you were able to come out here today. Keep smiling, Joe. Keep laughing. And we'll see you after you have your bladder surgery. Uh, okay. Okay? I look forward uh, to it. <laughs> uh, uh, what, the surgery or coming back No, here? coming back. <laughs> uh. All right, Joe. Thank you so much. Something you'd like to hear or see? PepperPMissouri.edu. Have yourself a nice day. Bye-bye.